What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Tastemaker's Palette, here bringing you another review. I hope that you are all well. I'm glad to bring you today's review. Today, I am bringing you back into a into familiar territory. If you have been watching my videos or if you sus subscribe to my channel, most folks know that uh, John Elliott is one of the regulars on my channel, and it is my personal it's, it's one of my personal favorite baseline brands to, uh, that I have incorporated in my wardrobe. So uh, if you watch this channel, you'll probably see uh, quite a bit of John Elliott reviews. But today's review is, I'm doing this review because what I have today is arguably one of Denim's most innovative advances in uh, denim technology, I guess, is, I guess is what you call it, or not denim technology, but um, innovative designs for denim that I've that I've ever seen. The finished product is next to none with this particular uh, garment, and I've never, I've, I've again never seen anything like this done with denim. And so what I'm what I'm reviewing today is I'm reviewing John Elliott's Days denim in Crush Flock and the color is black. So for those familiar with John, John Elliott, they have several offerings for their denim. Um, they're, the sizes are categorized as the Cast 1 and Cast 2, which are John Elliott's slim to skinny fit. The Cast 2 is the smaller of the two. The cast 1 is slightly bigger, almost a regular slim fit, um, denim straight, straight slim fit. Then there's the days, which is um, is kind of similar to the cast one, but there's some more tailoring and the the hips and and but it's it's basically more of a regular fit with with tapered tailoring to it. And then they have the caribou, which is the boot cut denim. It's kind of like a days, but with a flare at the bottom. And then there's the cane, which is a regular fit uh, denim that is what do you call it cropped. Uh, or it's just kind of like a high ankle. So um, this is the days, which is kind of like the tailored, tapered, regular fit denim. And um, I like that that offering of the denim because the style is somewhat in between what's trending today. Uh, you know, the skinny denim is, is, you're seeing less of it. You're seeing more of the baggier styles. And the days is kind of a happy medium, like kind of right in the middle because it's tapered and tailored, but it still offers you somewhat of a regular fit uh, throughout the thigh, knee, and ankle. And um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of, a, again, you strike a balance there, kind of a happy medium. But the days crush flock, crush flock is the finish, and that's the design that I'm talking about in terms of the innovation and such. And what they've done is they've given you a denim, which it, it's still denim, but it has a velvet finish. And, you know, I really, really um, gravitated toward it because Velvet now is, um, it's in style for its kind of, it for its elegance and for how people are using it in formal settings. So to see what other brands are doing with Velvet by making it more casual, um, finding ways to give you Velvet in denim, sweatshirts, all these different types of things, I think is 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 very, very innovative. Typically you'll see, you know, velvet, maybe uh, blazers or whatever the case may be. But John Elliott has found a way in its in its different denim processes to give you a denim with a with a denim base but a velvet finish. So I'll talk more about that, but let's just take a look at the, the piece itself. So this is, let me see if I can give you some more lighting because it's kind of hard to see because they're dark, they're black. But I mean like this is so awesome because I mean if you execute this with the right button up shirt, sweater, and shoes, you can go pretty much anywhere with these. Shy of a black tie affair because they are denim at the end of the day, but you can, you can wear these anywhere if you're dressing up or you know kind of if you're just hanging out a bit and 
the crush flop process, what it does is, is and I don't know how they bond the fibers to the denim, but there's a, this is again, it's a denim baseline, but they take velvet fibers and they add the fibers to the denim. And then there's another piece to, they, 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 uh, what do they call it? Uh, they burnish the edges, which gives you kind of the, you, it, it still allows for you to, to see kind of what you'd see in a distressed denim through the velvet. So they distress the velvet by burnishing the, the edges to reveal the bottom denim layer and give you kind of a, um, a distressed look on the velvet. So you, here you have, you have the attitude of denim, the attitude of distressing, and the elegance of the velvet in one piece. So, you know, I'm really, really vibing with these. I really, really love these. Um, just a dope, dope innovation. And one of the funny things about my videos is that, <laughs> maybe it's not a funny thing, I guess, I guess it's just a testament to everybody's individual taste, but you know, I noticed that a lot of the stuff that I like the most does not get the most views. And I'm not, definitely not, I don't have any feeling or qualm about that, but um, I like something like this that is so innovative and so fashion forward. I, I, I hope that, you know, even if, even if it's, you know, something that you don't like, I hope that it's something that gets the attention of a broad mass of people because I just kind of feel like everybody needs to know that there's something like this out there that can be an option in their closet because when I when I wear these and I put these on, I feel there's something that I feel about these that's that I don't feel when I put on regular denim. You know, the right outfit with these, it, it, it's definitely, um, it, it, it makes you feel like you are fly. You know what I'm saying? So, um, which is how you should feel whenever you put on anything. But this is definitely a, a, a set aside exceptional feeling when you put those on. So um, neither here nor there, this is just me venting and, and speaking about how much I really, really like these, these pants. Um, I'll give them a try on so you can see what they look like. Um, but these are, are super, super dope. So give me one sec and then I will throw these on. And um, these, these, this offering comes in two different colors. It comes in a burgundy and it comes in a black. So I have the black and I'm, I actually have my eye on the burgundy as well because I like them so much. Um, what, what you could do with that, with the, with the burgundy ones in a pink shirt, oh man, I mean, you could you could shut it down with that. With that, uh, I've got visions, I've got visions. But a combination like that, you could really shut it down with. They also have um, denim trucker jackets in the crush flock finish with the same, same style. And I, I actually, personally, I, I'm, I'm back and forth between whether I think the, de the denim or the jacket is a better look, but I really am leaning toward um, the jacket. Now let's talk about price and why I have the pants versus the jacket and why I even got have these in the first place. These are very expensive and I think they're upwards to about, I think the jacket is probably about, probably about $600 and the pants are about $500 retail. And I got these, I lucked up. Um, Saks Fifth Avenue had one pair left in my size, which is size 38, um, at $144. So I hopped on them. Um, so they also, they had a jacket that had just sold out for 167, retailing regular at 60 and I had just missed it. So I was hurt behind that because I really wanted the jacket over the pants. But um, when I got the pants, I was so hype about them that, um, you know, it was still a good look. But, um, you know, there's some other places that have them on sale. I see them on sale averaging about 300 bucks, which is like 50% off. Um, jackets and uh, pants, I typically see the burgundy pants are selling lower than the black, which is, um, you know, that makes sense because that burgundy kind of velvet is, is probably a, a harder thing to, um, to uh, style than, you know, like the color black. Um, but yeah, you know, if you're interested, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely gonna cost you a bit. But this is what it looks like. 
Um, you know, I didn't even think about it. If I thought about it, I would have reviewed this with like a more, with an, with an outfit that was a, a bit more nice. So you can get a feel of the potential that these have. But really, really nice. Um, again, I'm. this is a size 38. I'm 6'2", 240 pounds. Um, the days is true to size, but even at true to size, it's going to fit a bit snug in the waist. But it's going to give you all the all the room that you need in the thighs and definitely down in the calves. It's actually kind of a baggy fit. But I mean, this is this is something else right here. I mean, this is I've never seen a, again a denim innovation like this. This is um, exceptional, exceptional craftsmanship. Um, the finished product is very high quality. There's nothing, you know. There's it looks it just looks so high quality. Um, so yeah. So yeah, man, I'll gush about these all day because again, like I said, you know, they, they, they're definitely a favorite right now. Um, see the distressing and everything. Um, but yeah, I'll leave the link, I'll leave links in the description that have a few places where you can get them somewhat discounted and they're discounted now and there's potential for deeper discounts. So if you want to kind of hawkeye some of them and see if they get lower, that'll be cool too. But um, let me know what you think. This is definitely different. Um, love bringing stuff like this to the channel um you know because it's it's uh it gives you gives you like more you know i call it the, this this is tastemaker's palette because you know it the palette the palette that you use as an artist um f as, as a tastemaker and this this is definitely something different on your on your palette that you have to use to go out and dress up so um so yeah you know what i mean like let me know what you think like comment subscribe Subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video with me today. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, glad to bring you this, this video. Uh, you guys keep doing your thing. Keep doing it in style. Tastemakers Palette, out. Peace.